Hi, this is Nathan Harrison for FindRemodel.com. I had set out to make a video that would tell you all about the Foursquare and its features that it can be identified by and also if you own one or if you're considering buying one what you would need to know from a remodel perspective about these houses. And I will do that. But first I want to tell you what I learned about the Foursquare and what it really means. The Foursquare is a very plain looking house, but it has a very important place in American history. This house signifies several different things, but the first thing it signifies is the rise of the urban middle class as America became an industrialized society. Although this is a big house, it's not the house of the rich. It's the middle class house. The rich had been building houses like this since about the time of the Civil War. But beginning in the 1890s, as people from the countryside were able to find better jobs, better than farming, in the city, in industrial situations mostly, there began to be a, an efficiency created by all of these middle class families wanting to buy homes and so the first tracked homes began to be unfolded and by that I mean uh, subdivisions on with homes on fairly small plots and the homes were planned out they, they were in many cases they, they could be ordered. They were all planned out ahead of time unlike what had happened before. So this home, the Foursquare, represents a massive step up for tens and possibly hundreds of thousands of families who were used to living in small farmhouses and now were moving to these nice large houses in the city. The second, the second thing that I think the Foursquare signifies, this house was the McMansion of its day. I think the rich who lived in houses like this would look at these Foursquares and scoff and say, you know, there's no architectural beauty there. These are just cookie cutter houses. They're adding nothing to the community, etc. A lot of the same things that you hear about McMansions, not just now, but there's been this similar complaint through history of people building more economical houses and, frankly, large economical houses. And it's true, the Foursquare is a very plain house. It's large and it tended to be packed together side by side like you see here. The people who bought them consider these houses honest and unpretentious. The third thing that I believe the Foursquare symbolizes and, and in fact epitomizes is the bubble house of the period prior to the Great Depression. You see this house is considered to have been built from the 1890s to the 1930s. Really most of them were built between 1900 in 1930. Of course the Great Depression began in 1929 and if you put all this in perspective what you realize is thousands of families had made this great step forward in their uh, accommodations and perhaps it was too much of a step forward. It was dependent on the continued uh, good functioning of the economy and when that didn't happen, uh, I think possibly this was a factor in the Great Depression that they had a housing bubble then, just like we appear to now. There is actually historical record of a housing bubble at that time. But another piece of evidence that I would offer is that if you look at what happened to houses after this, they moved to much smaller, more humble structures up until fairly recently. The next 
popular style of house was the bungalow and then after that the ranch, both of which are uh, mostly one-story houses and a lot less square footage than this house.